Hello, I'm Jason Davis, the commercial leader of engineer solutions at the Crosby Group. Today, I'm answering a question from an anonymous submitter reading, when do I need to replace my shivs? And it's an excellent question. Shivs most often need to be replaced when the groove of the shiv is worn to a point that will cause any type of concern around the integrity of the wire rope. As the shiv groove gets worn, the radius of the groove, which is originally around six to 10% larger than the wire rope, it actually gets smaller and it starts to approach the radius of the wire rope itself. You know, once the groove is worn close to the nominal size of the wire rope, it creates a pension effect that can cause um, fatigue stresses on the strands. This can significantly speed up the fatigue wear on the wire rope, shortening the life much faster than normal. A particularly concerning situation would be if a new wire rope was used with a shiv that was worn. A new wire rope tends to begin its life closer to the upper tolerance of the outside diameter. Since this is being utilized with an already worn shiv, it would pose an even greater risk to the wire rope. You know, so at this point, you're probably gonna ask, you know, what's the limit to which a shiv groove can be worn to? And the Crosby Group really recommends to the API guidelines on inspecting the shiv groove wear per API RP9B. And according to the standard, you know, a, a shiv groove can be worn down to about two and a half percent larger than the nominal wire rope radius. And a, a simple go no go gauge can be used to inspect the groove um, to make sure that it's not to this value. I hope that answers your question, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Anonymous, and we'll see you in the next video.